Courtney Mermaid here and welcome back to my channel where I bring you mermaid related content to help you live life so mermaid and today I'm going to show you guys how best to send me your measurements. So as many of you know I'm not like a lot of other fabric tail makers. I actually require you to send me your outline. I find this is the best and easiest way for me to get accurate measurements for your mermaid tail. So the first thing you want to do is gather your supplies. Depending on the kind of paper you use, I'm fortunate enough that I fit on one sheet of my roll of paper. However, I have had to tape a lot of pieces of paper together for this before in the past. So, so you're going to need to grab, as I said, paper to trace yourself out onto. Make sure that you have your monofin handy. Um, if you're going to need to tape pieces of paper together, use a painter's tape or a, like a masking tape, basically. So something that you can actually see a line that when it's drawn over. So don't use any of like the scotch tapes because they don't hold the pencil <laughs> at all or Sharpie or anything. Just I've tried it don't do it. You're also going to need a pencil. I recommend using a pencil because I'm not going to say that I've had mishaps with Sharpies on my skin and or clothing. Yeah. You are also going to want to have scissors on hand so that you can cut your paper at the end of the whole expedition. And you are going to want to make sure you don't do this alone. You are going to need help to make sure that you're getting the accurate measurements. I don't want to have weird like when you were setting up and trying to do it yourself because that's not going to be accurate. Trust me. I've tried. Like even a contortionist couldn't do this accurately, okay? I tell you it works best if you have someone help you. Now pro tip, start your outline roughly where you would like it to be on your body. Tails may sit a little bit above this or they may sit a little bit below this line. It's all going to depend on how the fabric fits to your form. And my tails do tend to sit a little bit higher on people's bodies. I do that intentionally because I feel like it gives a more streamlined appearance and you avoid getting a nice big gaping bum when you're swimming because who wants their swim bottoms to just spontaneously show and their butt and everything. No good. So keeping all of that in mind, let your assistant, could be family, friends, whoever you've got, and also remember to tell your chosen helper um, to keep the pencil as flush to your body as possible. Now what I mean by this, boy it would be nice if I had a pencil handy. Pencil, not pen, but my pencil's out there and I'm not gonna leave the room to go get it. So flush to your body, I mean keep it straight. Don't go in, don't go out. I, I account for stretch, so you don't have to do any thinking or like, oh, is it going to be tight enough? It's going to fit you. Trust me, it's going to fit you, but it's only going to fit you if you do it nice and flush. Now, if you need to go over your outline once you're done, you can use a thicker marker if you'd like to, but please don't um, don't change the measurements. You can go over with a thin pen just to darken things up, but try and be as true to the existing line as possible or I am going to get inaccurate measurements from that, okay? So when you have your measurements taken, you need to be wearing your monofin. The key thing is, everybody's gonna be like, wait a second, but I can't lay flat and have the monofin lay flat and what is the thing and how am I going to do this? And Courtney, you're crazy. So what you do, you do your body measurements first, you keep your heels just <laughs> like so, monofin in the air, it's all good. And then once your Mertender has gotten both sides of your body, do that first, keeping your heels completely stationary, don't you dare move your heels, okay? You're going to literally, with your feet, so your feet were like this, you're gonna sit up, keeping your heels where they were, just lower your feet to the thing, because now your body doesn't matter where it is. As long as your heels are in the same spot, I cannot stress this enough, please, for all that is good in this world, and all of the trucks going by, please keep your heels in the same spot or your tail could end up being too long or even too short. So you need to make sure that your heels stay in the same spot. Okay, please. Please. Just, hmm. Now, once you're done, make sure that you cut off any excess paper so that it doesn't take up a whole bunch of space in your envelope, if you're mailing this to me, of course. Um, fold it up nice and small. You can throw that in a bubble mailer. You can throw it in a paper mailer, however you would like. And of course, I will have already given you my P.O. Box address, so you'll be good to go. If you're doing this for yourself at this point, you can roll it up. You can save it for later. You can start breaking down your measurements. And if you'd like to learn how to do that, I actually have a full ebook available over at shopvancouvermermaid.com that will explain to you 
you how I actually make these awesome printed mermaid tails. So if you would like to try that out, you can do that. I also have plenty of tutorials. I will leave a playlist up in the cards for you guys to check out of all of my tail making tutorials for the painted tails as well. And if you liked today's video and you found it helpful, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the pod and the bell notification as well so you never miss an upload. And if you have any other questions about taking your measurements, please be sure to comment down below. And if you are a client of mine and you are struggling or this did not answer all the questions, feel free. We've got the back and forth going and I will be happy to answer any further questions that you have. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. I look forward to receiving your measurements, future clients. And otherwise, I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Happy swimming. Bye.